Hi guys, so I'm going to be filming a video today that I've been asked to do a couple of times. Um, I personally don't love these videos, I haven't really ever found myself watching that many. Um, I tend to kind of watch this video if I want to get a new app on my phone or if I just kind of want to be a little bit nosy and see what other people have on their iPhones or just phones in general. So today I'm going to be doing the what's on my iPhone. I don't know if it's a tag or if it's just a what's on my iPhone video but that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so I'll just get started. So this is my iPhone. Right here looks like an iPhone. Um, I've got, I'm just going to clean the screen because it's really dirty. So I've got the gold iPhone 6. Um, I'll take the case off it. I keep just like a little rubber clear case on it because I want to keep it protected and I don't want to scratch it but then again I still want people to see the gold because it's pretty. Um, so this is what the back looks like. I love this phone. I am also going to talk a little bit about the phone as well because I just remembered I did actually watch a lot of these videos before I got the phone because I wanted to know a little bit about it and whether people enjoyed the phone or not. So I was very sceptical whether to buy the iPhone 6 because I thought it's quite big. So this is the classic iPod compared to the phone, it is a lot smaller, um, but I, yeah, I didn't know whether to get this phone, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about it, I have never made such a good decision in my life than to get this phone. Um, no, I probably have, no, that's a bit of an exaggeration, I probably have. I love this phone so much, it's got amazing memory, um, the battery was also really really good when I first got the phone, it's now gone downhill a little bit and the battery isn't so great, um, but I just love it and I think that everything's a lot clearer on the phone, it takes amazing photos, I just love it and I think the gold is so pretty, you can get the 6 in gold, black or silver I believe. Um, gold is my favourite but I do like the others as well. I just think it looks amazing and the one thing I love is the little gold ring around the bottom and obviously you can open your phone with your thumbprint like so. Um, I love it and I wouldn't change it for the world. So I'll now get started and show you what's on it. So my background just says everything started as nothing and it's just a little quote thing that I got off Tumblr. Um, and then we open up the phone and just looks like this. I have two pages of apps. The first one, you kind of have all your generic um, apps. So you have messages, calendar, then we've got photos. So um, I have got quite a few photos on my phone. We've got the camera roll, which has 1,960 photos. I've got a lot of photos, as you can see. Um, I am a huge photo taker. I love taking photos. Okay, then back onto the home screen, we've got the camera. Um, again, like I said, the camera on this is amazing. I'll just show you the front camera. Um, is really good quality as well as the other camera is really good too. I love the camera on this. I then have contacts, stocks, which I don't ever know what stocks means. Who knows what stocks means? Um, the weather, voice memos, clock, settings, videos, notes, iTunes store, app, app store, calculator. So they're all like the crappy ones that the phone actually comes with that nobody ever uses. And then I tend to keep on the first page my few kind of favourite apps that I use on a day to day basis. So I've got my Snapchat. Um, if you want to add me on Snapchat I will leave my Snapchat name somewhere on the screen here and you can add me and I will accept you. Um, I don't really tend to post that many stories but I suppose if I become friends with some of you guys then I might start posting like when I'm filming videos and things like that. Um, but yeah, I've just got my Snapchat and all the people I've Snapchatted recently, not very interesting. Everybody knows what Snapchat is. I have then got my Instagram account, um, which is probably my favourite app on the whole entire phone. Again, I will leave my um, Instagram, Twitter, I'll leave everything all down below so you can go and follow me on that if you like. But my Instagram has got a lot of pictures on it. Um, I love posting on my Instagram. So... That is probably one of my favourite apps. And then my Instagram feed as well. I absolutely love it. I just could sit and scroll through Instagram all day. So definitely couldn't live without that app. I've then got my Twitter. 
Um, and I do go on Twitter quite a lot. I've got a message on there actually. Um, and yeah, I do tweet quite a lot. Most of it's rubbish, but I do tweet. So if you want to follow me on that, I'll leave that down below. Um, so I've just got Twitter. Everyone knows what Twitter is. I don't see the point in this video. Everybody knows what it is. Um, I then got my Facebook, which I go on sometimes. Um, obviously, just have my usual Facebook feed. Nothing too fancy there. Okay, so that's everything on my first page. It's just kind of standard apps. Then my second page, I suppose this could get slightly interesting because this is where I've downloaded the apps and you guys might not know about them. So in my photography, um, I've got a photography album and in here I keep all my photography and kind of editing apps. So I've got Pixlr, Omatic Plus app, which I don't actually tend to use. Um, I've got Pickstitch, which I do use. This is really good for creating collages. Um, I've got Timercam, which I don't tend to use, but I think if you get a selfie stick, that's what you use for it. A beautiful mess, uh, again I haven't used that in a really long time, it is pretty good, you can kind of put like little hearts and teacups and everything all around your picture, so it is a good one if you like editing, I'd definitely recommend getting it. Then ViscoCam, and I will go into this one and show you, this is what I edit my pictures on, um, so you kind of go up here and you can add a new picture and then you scroll through all your pictures and you select one and then you can pop on like different effects and things like that and that is how I edit my Instagram pictures if you were wondering. I've then got Square Ready which I don't actually use anymore because I just tend to take my photos in a square shape but I used to be able to change them square for Instagram. I've then got Afterlight again that's just another editing app that I don't use anymore and um, Pinterest I rarely go on that I don't really ever, I don't think I've ever posted anything on Pinterest, I just like to be nosy and look through other people's. I've then got PixArt, which I'll be honest with you, I don't actually know what this is, I didn't even know I had it. I then have a social album, which has my WhatsApp, we all know what WhatsApp is, I just use that to message certain people. Um, I have my Tumblr, which I absolutely love, Tumblr is my favourite thing in the world. Um, I'll just quickly show you my account. So this is my Tumblr account, I basically just post pictures of food or like Harry Styles, basically food or Harry Styles if you like food and f and tulips and just pretty like plants then you will want to follow me oh and coffee I post a lot of coffee I then have blogger which I don't actually use um, on my phone I do all my blogging and everything on my laptop my computer I then have followers plus because I like to know when people unfollow me no it's not like that I got it ages ago um, and it is quite funny because you get to see like um, I've got it linked to my Instagram so you can scroll through and see who's followed you and it also tells you who's unfollowed you and it's actually quite interesting because sometimes you'll get people that you actually know or like your friend, well not your friends but people you know in real life and they will unfollow you and you're there like oh, well I'm going to unfollow you now because I know you unfollowed me. It's a bit petty but it's fun. I then have my YouTube app which again I don't really use on my phone, I tend to use that on my computer but I just have it just in case. I've then got Vine which I never use, I just used to watch videos but I got bored of it so I should probably delete that. I then have games, um, I have Sunday Lawn which is a really fun game, you basically are a little man with a lawnmower and you have to go around and mow the lawn and like avoid certain things. I've got Monkey which you have to like fling monkeys from trees and collect fruit which is fun, that is a good game. I have Candy Crush, we all know what that is. Flappy Bird, all know what that is. Um, Heads Up, which is a really cool game. Basically, you've probably heard of it, but you um, choose like a category and then you pop the phone on your head like this and then you play it with people and you have to like guess what the certain thing is without saying it. It's good fun, it's a good party game. Um, and I then have Shazam, which is a very cool app indeed. If you are listening to the radio or you hear a song play out, um, out in a shop or something, quickly get out Shazam and it will tell you what the song is, it listens to it and tells you and then you can save it. I then have the emoji section which just has all my emojis in, that's really boring. I have Facebook Messenger, which I do use. I have the Boots app, um, which is good, you can kind of see how many points you've got on your card, you can see what offers are on recently, so it's pretty good. Um, I've got Other, which is literally so boring, I'm not even going to show you, it's just all what comes on the phone, so completely boring. Navigation, again, is completely boring, it's got like a torch and a map sign and my reminders and that's it. I then have Blog Loving, which I said to you about, um, this is basically what I use to read through people's blog posts, it is really handy, I have notifications, I have my own blog on here and then I have all of my saved blog posts which I want to read later. 
that sort of thing um, and that's really really good if you're on like a train or things like that if you're on public transport a lot and you want something to read through it's really handy to get blog loving on the phone um, I've then got the free prints app which I've mentioned before this is an amazing app where you get free photos printed and delivered to your house and all you have to pay for is the postage I think you get like 40 free prints a month um, it's amazing I've got O2 phone I didn't even know I had an O2 app but apparently I do um, I have Dub Smash, which I don't know what. I've then got Spotify, which you all know about. Um, I have got quite a few playlists on here, so if you want to follow me on Spotify, then I will leave my name down below and you can look through my playlist and see what I like to listen to. I've got LinkedIn, which I got a while ago. Um, we were recommended to get it at college to do with like jobs and things like that, but I've never ever used it. And then the last app, last but not least, I have Tinder because why the heck not? Um, I got Tinder about a week ago and I've like made friends with two guys on it and it's not, it's not like how people say, it's not weird and creepy if you like, if you don't go out there to, if you don't create the account to be like that on there, if you know what I mean, like if you just create it because you literally just wanna to talk to a few people and get to know people, it's absolutely fine and it's not weird at all um, like I've made friends with two guys on it and they're not weird they're super lovely and I've met one of them and he was so nice and he's just a normal person and we're like friends now so it's not as bad as people make out unless you make it bad if you see what I mean so that is everything on my iPhone 6 um, I do hope you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too long and rambly I'm gonna have to edit a lot of it out um, but let me know if there's any apps that I'm missing on my phone that you think I should have and yeah, thank you so much for watching I'll see you all very soon with another video. Bye!